Hello everyone, this is Ian Robinson with Creative 111. And for today's quick tip, we're going to actually look at importing Illustrator files into After Effects. But we're not just gonna import them straight. We're going to use Adobe XD as an intermediary. This way we can actually bring in animatable text as native text elements directly into Illustrator, well, through XD. Now, in honor of the summertime, I've created this cheeseburger graphic here with cheeseburger text. And don't worry if you're vegan, it could be a vegan cheeseburger or whatever you like. But long story short, I have three layers. Usually when you're importing Illustrator files into After Effects, you wanna make sure any element that you wanna animate is on its own layer at the top of the layer hierarchy. So for example, if I wanna animate the burger element, I can toggle its visibility off and on. You can see it's on its own layer, so we're good to go. My text, it's also on its own layer. Now I'll go back into After Effects and double click in the project panel and I'll navigate to my burger AI file and I'll go ahead and import it as a composition retaining layer sizes. When I click open, you can see it's brought it in as a comp and if I double click, there are my three layers. But if I select my text element, go up under layer and go down to create, you can see I cannot make this editable text. I could try and create shapes from vector layers, but depending upon how the font is built, that may or may not work. Same thing here, here's my burger. I can toggle its visibility off and on, but you notice uh, it's one individual element and the blend mode for the bottom of the hamburger isn't looking quite right. Well, let me show you what happens if you go through XD. If you have a full Creative Cloud subscription, you can go ahead and download and install Adobe XD. XD is an application that is used to create UI designs and app pre-visualizations. Now, I'm gonna go up under File and choose Open from your computer. Well, not your computer, my computer, but you get the idea. Then I'll navigate to my desktop and I'll click on the AI file that I had and I'll click open. It's going to go ahead and open up in here and here's the key. I need to click and drag a lasso around all the elements like so. Then I can go up under file and say export after effects. And it's going to take a second but it's automatically going to import a new comp into after effects and open it called comp one. Notice here, layer one is a shape layer and it's called text. If I select that layer and press S to open up the scale and I scrub on the scale, you can see all of the text elements are the child of this basically control shape layer. So I'll just undo that last little thing here. I can also see that because it's labeled in the parent and link column. But here's where the magic is. Notice if I select layer two, this is an actual native text element. Let's go ahead and animate each individual letter of this text element. To select all the text layers, I'm gonna to go to the left side here and click on the label for layer two and say select label group. Since text layers are the only ones that are red, you can see those individual elements are selected. Now with my current time indicator at frame zero, I'll go to my effects and presets and you can see I've already searched for fade and I'll just double click on the fade up characters preset now, if I come back and click on comp one to make sure the timeline panel is active, and I press the U key just once, you can see the keyframes for the animation. So if I press the space bar, you can see now each individual letter is animating into the scene. Now I'll press the space bar and stop playback here, and I'll press the U key one more time to collapse any of those keyframes that I've been seeing, and I'll collapse layer one as well let's fix the blend mode on the bottom of my hamburger. I can scroll down here and here's my burger. You can see the burger and the seeds are parent layers of all of these other elements, which if I scroll down here, you can see there are a lot of elements. And the layer I'm looking for is layer 52, which is this ellipse layer. If I toggle its visibility off and on, you can see that's definitely the layer. So here, since I have modes already available, if you don't have these, you wanna to toggle your switches and modes. I'll click on that dropdown and I'll change it from normal to multiply. 
So as you can see, if you use Adobe XD as an intermediary between Illustrator and After Effects, you can bring in a whole bunch of more information. You'll get access to each individual element that was used to create this graphic inside of Illustrator. And anything that was editable text is going to remain editable text and be brought in so that you can animate each individual letter using different text animators. So once again, this has been Ian Robinson for Creative 111. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.